In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I am Reverend Father Gabriel Oriyomi Obimaya. I am the chaplain to the Catholic Youth Organization of Nigeria, Archdiocese of Lagos. Today is Wednesday, 1st of April, 2020, the fifth week of Lent. In our liturgy of the world today, the liturgy of the world today began with a very wonderful antiphon that says, My deliverer from angry nations, you set me free above my assailants. You saved me from the violent man, O Lord. Beloved in Christ, in our first reading of today, we saw how God set the three young men above their assailants, the Hebrew young men. They were delivered by God for their unwavering faith in Him. That is what happens when we put our total trust in God. He does not abandon us to carry our crosses alone. He has never done that. He comes into our situations in the best way and manners he deems most fit. One important thing we need to hold on to today, beloved in Christ, in our liturgy of the world, is that when we stand for God, God also stands by us no matter the circumstances. King Nebuchadnezzar asked the three Hebrew young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Is it true that you do not serve my God and that you refuse to worship the golden statues I have erected? Even though when the three young men were threatened by the king, they remained unshaken. Rather, they spoke out boldly, trusting in their God, saying, If our God, the one we serve, is able to save us from the burning fiery furnace, O King, and from your power, he will save us. And if he does not, then you must know something, O King, that we will not save your God or worship the statue which you have erected. In these three young men, beloved in Christ, we saw great conviction in God. They believed in God, they trusted, and they knew that God will save them. Dear friends in Christ, we see people going to church in our own time daily, going for masses, daily reception of the Holy Communion, daily recitation of the Holy Rosary, and many other pieties in a bid to show that we have faith in God, we practice all these pieties. How many of us will exhibit such conviction manifested by these three young men? if we are faced today with the same challenges. Beloved in Christ, some today believers turned away, seeking other gods because they felt that God does not answer prayers fast enough or answer prayers by thunder or by fire. Today, beloved in Christ, for those who belong to this category, I want to say something here today. That the roaring of the sea does not stop the fish from sleeping, even to the extent of snoring. God remains a God. So our doubt in God does not make God less than God. If only we trust in Him, He will step into that very situation. As you hear the word of God today, do not harden your heart. Peace be with you. Prayer for an end to the coronavirus pandemic. O God, our help in ages past. We, your children, humbly implore your mercy at this time of adversity. We are devastated by the coronavirus pandemic that is ravaging the whole world, snuffing life out of your people and spreading fear everywhere. You are the God of life and nothing is impossible to you. You ask us to call on you in the day of trouble, and you will answer us. 
we know that we are sinners who are unworthy of your favors. Although we have no merit of our own to plead before you, we stand on the merit of the death and resurrection of Christ and plead his saving blood over our lives and situations. We ask you to be merciful to us and save us from this scourge that is devastating the world. We ask you to be merciful to us and save us from this scourge that is devastating the world. Be gracious to us and speak life and healing into the present coronavirus scourge and command it to depart from our world. Give leaders of government and scientists divine wisdom and knowledge to take right decisions and to develop the vaccine needed to stem the spread of this virus. Protect all health workers and volunteers. Look with pity on those who are already infected with this deadly virus and heal them. Grant it an arrest to those who have died from it and comfort those they left behind to mourn their loss. Lord, through this scourge, may the hearts of many be turned back to you, their Creator. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady, help the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. All angels and saints of God, pray for us. May Our Lady, Mother of the Church, the health of the sick, intercede for us and of the whole world. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, thank you for joining us. Do well to always subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the red button below. Each time we drop a new video, you will have the opportunity to be notified. Thank you once again and God bless you. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come and look upon you and be known with you both now and forevermore. Peace be with you. Thank you.